Samsung A72 after one year. This is better than A53. I have a confession to make. I have this phone since the beginning and I compare this phone with a lot of phones in our channel but I've never really reviewed this phone. Now that the new Samsung Galaxy A53 is out, we will probably review it at one point. We're seeing the trajectory of the new A series using the Exynos processor and even worse removing the headphone jack. I think this is where the 2021 models will stand out running on Snapdragon chipset with headphone jack and same design. Today we'll talk about my experience using Samsung Galaxy A72, the reasons to own it this year, and what makes it better than Samsung Galaxy A53. Let's start with my experience using this phone. I probably use this for around 3 to 4 months, and that speaks a lot if you're a YouTube tech reviewer, because you kind of jump from one phone to another. This is one stable and reliable mid-range phone. I remember out of the box when I first used this, this is running on One UI 3.1. Unlike other Chinese phones that I've used from the past, One UI 3.1 was super stable, maybe some hiccups here and there when I'm using an app, I think a couple of freezing, and I had to restart my phone one time, but that's about it. I can say everything was fast, this is one reliable phone to use anywhere, anytime. Also just a few days ago, I got an update to One UI 4.1. Prior to this update over the last two months, I was using this phone on One UI 4.0, which is Android 12. Never had any issues with the performance, and I got all the Android 12 goodness like any supported Samsung phones do. What I love about this phone is the 6.7 inch AMOLED screen. It's fun to watch Netflix and YouTube videos on this phone, almost like a 7 inch screen. The cameras are pretty decent too, I won't bore you with the specs, but the image part is pretty solid and the video quality is just okay. The photos have great details and punchy colors, but the video recording is a little shaky. It shoots 4K recording, but the footage isn't the best in active situation. The battery of this phone is 5000mAh and a solid 2-day phone for me. I will play 1-2 to two hours of gaming and it will burn anywhere from 10-25%. to 25%. Even with 90Hz refresh rate, the battery juice is just pretty good. This is one good and solid mid-range phone. Now let's talk about the reasons why you need to own it this year. First is the same design as the newer Samsung Galaxy A53, nothing changed much in terms of looks, you will hardly notice the difference. The second reason is the Snapdragon processor, well over the years Exynos really improved a lot in terms of performance and reliability, but Qualcomm still produces the best processors out there. The third reason is the headphone jack, this is really rare for a phone now. In fact when I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S21 and S22, if not for their performance, I will switch back to Samsung Galaxy A72. The headphone jack is really good for content consumption because you can just use a wired earbuds. The fourth reason is the 6 gigs of RAM on the base model. The Samsung Galaxy A53 only has 4 gigs of RAM that is a little small for 2022. We do a lot of multitasking these days and I don't know if 4 gigs can make the cut. Also, this phone has FM radio functionality, so I can stream music free without data or internet. Pretty helpful when you're on the go, when you're commuting. The sixth reason is the camera. Do you know that Samsung Galaxy A53 uses the same camera as Samsung Galaxy A72 in terms of the rear camera and the selfie? That will perform the same or even better because the Samsung Galaxy A72 uses Snapdragon image processing. The seventh reason is the AMOLED screen with 90Hz refresh rate. Comparing this with other competition, Samsung is still producing the best AMOLED panel in the world. This is one vibrant and smooth screen. The eighth reason is the 5000mAh battery. And even now, if you look on my videos for the Samsung S22 and iPhone SE 2022 battery test, a lot of people are commenting bad things about those phones in terms of battery life. So hello, this is 5000mAh. Use it to your heart's content. The eighth reason is the update. From the article I've read, Samsung will support this phone for the next four years. We're just on the first year, and by the time you reach the fourth year, you may have a new budget for a new phone. And lastly, the price. Brand new, this is around $500, but in use market, you can probably get this $300 if you're lucky.
So what makes this phone better than the newer Samsung Galaxy A53? First is the processor. It is known that Snapdragon processor aged well compared to the competition. The Snapdragon 720G is actually aging well with this phone with the new One UI 4.1. Day-to-day -day task is a breeze. Also in terms of gaming, the Snapdragon processor are pretty optimized on those heavy games, so you might want to consider this. Well, part of my reason is Samsung killing the headphone jack on A53. Not sure why Samsung did that, but I thought it was a bad move considering you're selling A53 for $449. To put that function or piece, it will not cost them much. And aside from the headphone jack, there's an extra telephoto and ultra-wide lens on Samsung Galaxy A72. I know it's not the direct competition, we will have the Samsung A73, but as of now, if you will be upgrading, it makes more sense to get this older Samsung Galaxy A72. And the last difference is the bigger RAM for the base model. Again, Samsung Galaxy A53 only has 4 gigs of RAM, while this phone with Snapdragon 720G has 6 gigs of RAM. This is one smooth phone. So what is Gadget Revenue's verdict, Samsung Galaxy A72 after one year? If you're looking for a reliable and popular phone that you know you can bank on, shots fired to Chinese phone that has great specs, but with limited support, you're on your own, this is one heck of a mid-range phone. I should say because of the mid-range processor, this could be an entry-level flagship phone honestly. I will not recommend this because of the price. I know there are newer phones today, especially Chinese phones. That will give you more for its price and also for heavy gamers. You will feel stuttering here and there on Game Clash and heavy team fights. And I will recommend this to people who needs a reliable Samsung phone. It still has 3 years of total support. Not bad for a 1 year old. The battery is also great and the cameras are decent. Not the best out there but will do its job. This phone might be better compared to the newer Samsung Galaxy A53 because of the headphone jack, the telephoto and ultra wide lens. For the price difference, Samsung Galaxy A72 is better for sure. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue to compare this phone in our channel, maybe with the newer Samsung S22, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.